guys, so today we're going to cover the, the De La Hiva, and so um, I wanted to do like a normal video like I, I do with my other guards, but it's such a, it's such a, let me sit, let me sit up, it's such a big topic that I'm just going to show you some examples and just give you some like guidelines to use. Um, so De La Hiva, it's a really good guard to initiate, same thing with like the spider lasso, it's really good to use just like at the beginning of a match, and you have so many options. And I think a lot of people, they don't really, they don't utilize all the options that they have. So, so I'm just going to cover a few and then I'll, I'll have uh, in the video just like other clips of other athletes using them in uh, tournaments too, okay? So De La Hiva. So just the basics of De La Hiva. Uh, he has one leg forward and I'm going to control his leg. And I can control his ankle or his pant. I kind of like both depending on uh, just the situation. Uh, but today we'll just grab his pant. And so I can just have my daily heave a hook in, and I'm just pretty much just trying to stop his, his leg from moving, okay? One thing just to be careful of, a lot of people, they let go of the, the daily heave a leg with their arm, and now there's nothing to stop him just from getting away from me. So I kind of need to keep that kind of strong, okay? Once I'm here, I have a lot of different options. The mo most basic, come on over here, Daniel. Uh, most basic option is just trying to grab his sleeve or his collar or something. And then look, I can push his hip, his leg away, and I can start to sit up. From here, I have the sit up guard, boom. I can even switch to the single leg. So those are very common uh, attacks. Okay. Also from here, I can go to the low guard, uh, Landra low guard. So controlling his sleeve with my foot in the bicep, I bring my leg under, and look, I can pull him forward. Trip him backwards, that's one option. Once I'm here, I can also do the deep De La Hiva. From here I base off his leg, and look, I use my De La Hiva hook, and I get all the way in. We also call it the De La Hiva X, because I make it X with my legs. From here I can bump him forward. One option, come back, Leon. I can also bump him backwards. Okay. And uh, there's some more options, but I'm just covering like the main ones. Another thing I can do from De La Hiva, once I'm here, I can also start to set up my bolo attacks. So like, you know, Hoffa Mendes style bolos, uh, Miao style, um, just off balancing him. So from here, come on the other side a little bit. I need to switch from uh, the pant grip to more of an ankle lock grip, like hugging, hugging grip, okay? Once I'm here, I off balance, I come around, yeah. And now I can start to invert and start to work the Baron Bolo. Okay. Uh, so again, the De La Hiva is such a big, uh, there's one more, there's one more. And now like the more new style, the newer style, the guys are playing, um, they'll get here, they'll let go of the, the sleeve and grab the collar. And now they'll try to bump you forward. And look, they get their leg inside. And I can go X guard. Can you see the X? X guard. Yeah. I go X guard or the guys, they just come up for sweeps now. So that's what's happening a lot. They just come up for the sweep. Oh. Okay. So again, there's so many things happening with the, the, the De La Hiva. And uh, it's so hard to do, to do just like a little short video. So I want to do it justice. So those are some basic sweeps and attacks you can use. And uh, again, I'll put some clips of like, you know, the action. The moves in action too, okay? Alright guys, thank you. Whew.